Capricorn, happy belated Valentine's Day. How could I ever forget you? You are so worldly, so grounded, so imperfectly perfect. I wrote a song for you. Would you like to hear it? Here it go. Capricorn, this is your reading from February the 18th through March the 1st. Before I get started, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. Capricorns, thank you for the emails, the comments, the likes, the dislikes, all that energy. It is positive energy. And so family, thank you for leaving your comments and sharing your personal stories because it helps to heal others, others who are going through the same situations, similar situations, and those who will be coming up behind their energy. So family, I know if you are on that road to looking for new careers and new skill sets and new love, new relationships, new homes, new automobiles, just new, 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 there is a full moon coming up in the sign of Virgo on the 27th. This is the time to release toxicity from the mind, the body, and soul. And this is a time to drop situations, places, things, people, vices, situationships, all those things that hinder you from your true life purpose, and all those things that put roadblocks to keep you stuck, stagnant, and confused as to where you should be in life and what you should be doing. So Capricorn, this will not resonate with everyone. Maybe 5%, maybe 1%. Maybe this is just meant for one or two people, whoever is meant to hear it the most. Continue to check your moon sign, rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, all those areas in the natal birth chart that make up who you are. So Capricorn, I have already set my intentions and I have already set my prayer off camera. Let's come on down and get into your pre-shuffle. Capricorn. <laughs> I hope you're staying focused on your breath, meditation, yoga, exercise, hiking, walking, swimming, biking, reading a good book, focusing on your craft, writing out your to-dos and your goals. So when I split the deck, Capricorn, I have the Three of Wands and the Empress or the Emperor. Someone is waiting on you. Hmm. Or this could be you waiting on someone. Split the deck again. I have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Empress in the upright. Capricorn. Someone is wanting to come out of the cold with you. Someone is wanting to have some words, conversations with you. Cut the deck. 
Capricorn, your focus, the Three of Pentacles, and the reverse. Hmm. Okay. You also have the Six of Cups. You also have the Devil. Ah, Major Arcana. You also have the Seven of Wands. You also have the Knight of Swords. <laughs> you also have the World Major Arcana. And you also have Justice Major Arcana in the reverse. Hmm. All right, so we have three out of seven Major Arcana cards. It's almost like something Divine timing. Others may think it's over. Some may think it's not. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Capricorn, your focus. Three of Pentacles. And the reverse. Now, in the upright, the right away, this is usually one person working on a skill set or a pentacle. Sometimes there are two or three people working on the same goals, group situations, projects. This person is in the upright, watering a dead flower. Well, there is one right at his feet that could use some attention, and there is one that is vibrant and full bloom. Hmm. And in the reverse, Staying stuck and stagnant. Stuck and stagnant in things that you're putting time, money, and energy into that will not grow. No matter how much you water them. And you also have the Six of Cups. This is the Soulmate card. This is memories. But as you can see, these memories, they're kind of chaotic. Jumbled up. The good with the bad. And a lot of the cups have been emptied. The fluid or water has been spilled out of them. And you also have the devil, Major Arcana. Well, this could talk about bondage, vices, situations, situationships, jealousy, envy, being possessive, and staying stuck and stagnant and things that no longer serve us. And the Seven of Wands. On the right or weight, this is someone who stands high up on the hill, high up on the mountain. They're defending their foundation, pentacles, their time, their love, their energy. And as you can see behind these trees, it's like pentacles that are hidden. Hidden assets, right? From the outside world, you can't really tell. But this is a foundation that is being protected, something in disguise. And you also have the Knight of Swords. You know, with knights, they bring in opportunities, invites, opportunities to travel. This knight wants to say something, but his sword is stuck all the way down his throat. Almost like he put his sword in his mouth. Almost like he was a part of gossip, lies, deception, betrayal. And now he wants to come rushing in to speak his peace. And you also have the world, Major Arcana, in the upright. This is a completion of life phases and lessons. Moving on to what's next on the life path. This person is sitting on top of the world with their sickle, ready to cut out any and anyone who no longer serves them and holding on to Father Time, because life is about timing, divine timing, right? And if you complete life's lessons, you're able to move on, and if not, you repeat those karmic cycles, perhaps with the same karmic situations. And you also have Justice, Major Arcana, in the reverse. On the upright, Justice is just that, equal reciprocity. It is weighing the scales, Having that heart as light as a feather, cutting out what is immoral, injustice, 
or has, has no integrity or no type of kindness connected to it. This could also be karma. And in the reverse, this is karma yet to be served. And this is in the 3D on delay in legal situations. On the board, Capricorn, we have pentacles. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have swords. Air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have cups. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have wands. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the devil, Capricorn. <laughs> Justice, uh, Libra. And for me, Justice is also Capricorn sometimes in the reading. And the world, Scorpio. Hmm. All right, so this is not going to resonate with everyone. Capricorn, this is your card. The devil, major arcana. Let's get to it. There's a soulmate connection here. And you have a foundation with this soulmate, maybe seven years or more. There's nothing left. There's no money. There's no uh, real love cups on the board other than the six of cups, which means there are a long-term partner, past life soulmate. But with the devil next to the six of cups, this is a karmic soulmate, one that you were supposed to learn a lesson from and you were supposed to keep it moving. You're trying to water this wilted flower. You're trying to hang on to things that are no longer meant to be. You have something that has bloomed right at your feet and behind you, you have a full blown beautiful, fully in bloom, vibrant flower. But you're trying to water something that has already, hmm, perhaps had its bloom or perhaps has died, which is why the Three of Pentacles is in the reverse. It is time to move on to new opportunities, new gardens, new flowers, <laughs> new money, new careers, new businesses, new homes. I do see someone wanting to communicate, but with this Knight of Swords having a sword down their throat, I don't believe there's communication. Wanting to move on, wanting to communicate, but not willing to really say anything because we're stuck to a karmic situation. Now in this world card, there is someone actually sitting on top of the world with a sickle and an hourglass. So Capricorn, this is the person that you are wanting to say something to, but you're staying stuck. Or this person is wanting to communicate with you, but they're waiting. It's almost like waiting to see if you're going to come up to their level, to their vibration. Because this is dark. And it is lit by candles, perhaps candle magic, spell work, black magic generational magic handed down to your karmic from their mother, their mother, their mother's mother. And a lot of you are staying stuck. And it could be due to some type of magic that this karmic has done. 
because as you can see, there's no love left in this situation. All the cups have been pretty much emptied. There's really no water in these cups. And in the Three of Pentacles being in the reverse, there has been money loss, money stolen. Nothing has been built in this relationship. Things are built on lies, deception, manipulation, stealing from one another, lying to one another, cheating on one another. And as we can say, that could even be trauma bonding, staying stuck to someone in a foundation because this is the type of foundation that you may have grown up in as a child. Hmm. It's time to release what no longer works. It's time to release and look what's behind you and move on to this completion of this next cycle and stop watering flowers that have already died, relationships that have already died, situationships where all the love has been spilt out there's nothing but memories left. There is no love. And for some of you, there is no money. No love, no money. Hmm. All right, look at this card as karma, justice. We have three major arcanas. And they are all about bondage. Fate, karma, karmic cycles, life cycles. And I do see for some, there could be someone waiting for you. Someone that the divine has given to you. As you can see, this flower is in full bloom. It's almost matching the colors that's also in this card. Maybe this could be a divine soulmate or a divine twin flame that is waiting. And divine is, has the hourglass on this. Because if you don't make a decision, the contract will be null and void. Right? This person will be able to manifest with someone new. And... Whoever was holding on to karmic situations, they'll be stuck. Stuck in karma. Stuck in bondage. Stuck with towers that come one after another. It's almost like the divine is giving you time. Time. To make this decision. And if you don't, they will step in and make it for you. Especially if you have a divine purpose, a reason why you came down here in the first place, a part to play, you will be moved, whether you want to be moved or not. You will be moved from this karmic foundation that is no growth, no love, no pentacles. So, somebody has to take some action. Someone has to move this horse in the right direction, drop toxicity, drop karmic situations, relationships, take this sword out of their throat and speak the truth, and go for what they want. Stop staying stagnant in things that are loveless. No love, no money. What is what is there? Just a soulmate, just someone you've known since you were in your teens, your twenties, that's it. There's much more to life and more many more things that you are that you have within your life path that you are to learn and move forward with. 
And we have free will, but again, if there is a divine purpose that you are meant to do, you will be pushed to do it. <laughs> All right, so we have trust. Trust your decisions. March to the beat of your own heart. Exactly. Trust your decisions. Speak up. Gallop in to this new beginning because the world is in the upright. It's almost like all you need to do is speak your truth. All you need to do is trust in your decisions. Trust that this person that you want, that they are waiting on you. And they shouldn't be waiting. They should be living their life. But that they also want you just like you want them, right? Trust your decisions. March to the beat of your very own heart. It's all about the heart. It's all about love, respect, self-worth, equal reciprocity, loyalty, faithfulness. And you also have, I have the attitude of gratitude for the limitless power and potential of myself and my abilities. Myself and my abilities, yes. You're at the Three of Pentacles, and you have to keep growing these type of flowers and keep your eye on these flowers, not the things that are dead, not the things that are wilted, right? Not the things that cost you money or steal your money. I have the attitude of gratitude for the limitless power and potential of myself and my abilities. Capricorn, this is your reading from February the 18th through March the 1st. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course comment. And Capricorn, no matter what's going on, no matter what's you hear, it is very important, Capricorn, for you to stay in control of your mind, your body, and your soul. Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul. And from one soul to another soul. I love you, soul family. Have a good week.